the Steph Curry legend continues to grow. After earning yet another All-Star and All-NBA selection during the regular season, Steph led the Warriors to their fourth championship in eight seasons by defeating the Celtics in six games in the 2022 NBA Finals. The icing on the cake was when Curry was crowned Finals MVP for the first time in his career. The title and Finals MVP book into historic season for Curry that saw him rewrite the record books in more ways than one. Welcome to the Free Dawkins channel, here we break down Steph's legendary career-defining moments. Before we begin, here's a quick notice about our Warriors merch. This video is sponsored by Steph and Clay Merch. Get now on 10% discount for a limited time. Use code DOG. Link in description. Following a standout collegiate career at Davidson, the Golden State Warriors chose Curry with the number 7 pick in the 2009 draft as they were in the midst of a franchise rebuild. Steph showed some flashes of the play that has marked his Warriors career, finishing with 14 points on 7 of 12 shooting along with 7 assists and 4 steals in a 108-107 loss to the Houston Rockets. Overall as a rookie, Steph would average 17.5 points, 4.5 boards, 5.9 assists, and 1.9 steals while leading Golden State with 166 made three-pointers. Steph played alongside veteran Monta Ellis and the two combined to average the most points, boards, assists, and steals out of any guard duo in the NBA. Additionally, Curry's 5-30 and 10 games that season were the most by a rookie since Michael Jordan and tied for the second most all-time mark of Oscar Robertson's 25. The 42-point game as a rookie was Steph's previous career high until February 27, 2013 against the New York Knicks at Madison Square Garden. He then lit up New York for 54 points, which was the highest scoring performance by anyone in the league that season as he sank a then-franchise record 11 three-pointers. Curry now for three. Got it! What a night for Steph Curry! Single-handedly keeping an undermanned team in the game. Curry for three. Wow! Unbelievable! Making it rain in New York! Curry, why not? For three! Bingo! And the Knicks crowd is stunned. Curry off the screen, got enough room! Again! Butter! Steph Curry! His 11th three of the night! Additionally, Curry's total was the most by a Warrior since Purvis Short dropped 59 points on November 17, 1984. Only Will Chamberlain, Rick Barry and Joe Fulkes had recorded higher scoring games with the Warriors. Steph was 18 of 28 from the field and 11 of 13 from three. He also recorded seven assists and six board for the dubs. Since MSG's reopening in 1968 at its present location, at the time only two other visiting players scored more than 54 there. The greatest shooting guards of all time, Kobe Bryant with 61 in 2009 and Michael Jordan with 55 in 1995. In the 2012-13 season, Steph was finally healthy again after injuries spoiled his 2011-12 campaign. His banner moment that season came on the last night of the regular season as he sank a three-pointer with 6.49 left in the second quarter in Portland to give him 270 for the season. Curry from deep. There's the record! He stands alone as the best three-point shooter in a single season in NBA history. 270 and still not done. In doing so, he passed the 269 Ray Allen made with the Sonics in 2006. Overall, Curry had 272 made three-pointers that season, accomplishing that total in 53 fewer attempts than Allen did. He also claimed the Warriors' single-season record for three-pointers, topping Doral Wright's mark of 194 by a whopping 78 long-range shots. He became the first player in NBA history with at least 253s and 500 assists in a single season and the second ever to hit at least 200s on 45% or better from long range, joining Glenn Rice in 1995-96. Steph wasn't going to stop breaking records, and this was the approach Curry took in the 2014-15th campaign as he smashed his mark for three-pointers made. And it goes, the outlet to Curry. He'll tee up the three for the record. He got it! All-time NBA record! 273 made three-point shots for the marksman Stephen Curry. On April 9, 2015, Steph pushed past his single-season mark of 272 made three-pointers with a shot from the top of the arc, and again, he did it against the Blazers. After his record-breaking run in 2012, Steph was even more lethal in 2014-15. He ended the season with 286 made three-pointers and shot 44.3% from deep as Golden State won 67 games, and eventually, its first NBA title in 40 years. 
The Warriors were on the rise in the Western Conference by the time the 2014-15 season began, with Steph leading the charge for Golden State. Any doubters of Curry's ability were silenced in 2014-15 after his banner season led to NBA regular season MVP honors, besting Houston's James Harden for the award. It's also particularly special that you're the first player in 55 years as a Warrior to win the MVP. And the last one was, of course, Wilt Chamberlain. It's my honor and my pleasure to present you Steph Curry with the 2014-15 Kia MVP Award. Steph was a unanimous All-NBA First Team selection, led the league in three points made for a third consecutive season and ranked third in three-point percentage. He hit a three-pointer in all but one of his 80 games that season, including each of his last 73 contests giving him at least one three in 148 of his last 149 regular season games. With season highs of 51 points and 10 three-pointers on February 4th against Dallas, Def became the only player in league history to register multiple games with at least 50 points and 10 three-pointers. For Steph and the Warriors, his breaking of his single-season three-pointers made mark for the third time came in a classic overtime showdown against the rival Oklahoma City Thunder. Steph finished with 12 three-pointers in the game, including the long-distance game winner with 0.6 left to seal the win for Golden State. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry with six tenths of a second remaining! Curry, the league's scoring leader and reigning MVP that time, missed about six minutes of the third quarter with a left ankle injury. He drove to the basket and rolled the ankle before Thunder guard Russell Westbrook stepped on it. Steph shook it off and tied the game up with 2.29 remaining with his 11th three-pointer on the night, which was the one that pushed him to 288 on the season. Curry, another three! Oh, it's good! The Curry eruption continues! A tie game! And a record broken by Curry once again his own! He then finished things off with his thrilling shot with less than a second remaining that further moved the record forward. Overall, Steph finished with an astounding and record-setting 402 three-pointers made. In that 2015-16 season, Steph became the first player in NBA history to sink 300 three-pointers and 400 three-pointers in a single campaign. To date, he is the only player ever with 400 or more three-pointers in a season. To many, this game put a legend stamp for the first time on Steph, scoring 46 points while hitting 12 of 16 attempted threes, including a game winner from long distance against the once powerhouse Thunder, and breaking the threes record for the third time is quite enough to label him as such. On April 13, 2016, Steph and the Warriors took their last shot at Michael Jordan in history and they swished it for 73 wins. It's official number 73. The greatest regular season in NBA history now belongs to the 2016 Golden State Warriors. Steph had seven three-pointers by halftime. He knocked down six in the first quarter and three straight during one jaw-dropping stretch that included a 31-footer well behind the top of the arc. Curry! Oh my goodness! From about five feet beyond the arc! Steph finished with 46 points on 10 of 19 three-pointers and 15 for 24 overall to go with six assists. His Warriors fans kept the MVP chance for him all night long. After spraining his knee against the Houston Rockets in the first round of the 2016 playoff, Steph made his awaited return against the Portland Trail Blazers in Game 4 of the Western Conference semifinals. After dropping Game 3 behind Damian Lillard's 40 points, the Warriors found themselves in another tight game in Portland. Without Curry in the starting lineup, the Warriors fell behind big to start the game, but a back-and-forth battle broke out after the first quarter. Harrison Barnes drilled a three-pointer with 52 seconds remaining to push the game into overtime. Prior to the start of the extra period, Steph recorded 23 points against the Blazers. Once the bell rang for the overtime, Curry exploded. Curry. Got it. That's Curry with the offensive rebound and a putback. With just under two minutes remaining in overtime, Steph splashed a deep three-pointer from the top of the key forcing the Blazers to call a timeout. Warriors can add to their lead now. Curry left wide, open, right between the eyes. As the teams were walking to the bench, Curry famously called out, I'm here, I'm back. And he tells the fans, I am back. I am back. Oh, he is in a big way, too. High screen comes, Curry. Some ball handling, fires up a three, does it again. Wow. Jaws dropped everywhere. <laughs> and the best player in the game right now is Steph Curry. And he delivers a performance for the ages here tonight. Steph snapped an NBA record, scoring.
scoring 17 points in overtime to blast past the Blazers, 132-125. Steph's 40-point performance on 16 of 32 shooting with 9 boards and 8 assists in 37 minutes will forever be known as the I'm Back game. One season after collecting his first NBA MVP, Steph did even more to wow the voters in 2015-16. He became the first unanimous MVP winner in league history after Golden State rolled to an NBA record 73-9 season. NBA history as Stephen Curry becomes the league's first unanimous winner of the MVP award, accepting the honor at a ceremony inside Oracle Arena. Curry hit a three-pointer in each of the 79 games he played in 2015-16 setting an NBA record by hitting at least one three-pointer in 152 straight regular season games. He hit at least 10 three-pointers four times during that season, a feat no other player had accomplished more than three times in their careers up to that point. Overall, he averaged 30.1 point per game and became the first guard to average at least 30 points while shooting 50% or better from the floor since Michael Jordan in 1992. Curry also led the league in steals, becoming the first player to lead the league in both scoring and steals since Allen Iverson in 2002. He shot 50.4% overall, 45.4% on three-pointers and led the NBA in free throw percentage, joining Steve Nash as the only players to hit 50-45-90 over the course of an entire campaign. Dependability from the three-point line has been a hallmark of Curry's career and for a nearly two-year span, he personified that trait. Steph holds the record with 157 consecutive games with at least one three-pointer made, a streak that spanned three seasons from November 13, 2014 to November 3, 2016. Kyle Korver is the only other player to reach 100 straight games with a three-pointer at 127 games. Game 6 of the Western Conference semifinals between the Golden State Warriors and Houston Rockets was tied at 57 at the half. The most unbelievable part. Two-time MVP Steph had gone 0 for 5 from the field and 0 for 2 from three-point range. And a surprising first half comes to an end. Steph Curry scoreless, 0 for 5. It marked the first time since November 23, 2012, 603 games ago, that Steph had scored zero points in a first half. The dubs were without the injured Kevin Durant and Steph knew he had to show up in the second half to eliminate the James Hart, Chris Paul-led Rockets team. Curry had a good third quarter, 10 points on 3 of 7 to help pull the Warriors within 5. Then he took over in the fourth quarter. Curry long distance, that's a 3! And it's back to 1 again. Curry launches a 3-pointer, puts it in! Steph Curry from downtown! And the lead is 5 for Golden State. Curry on the drive, gets past layup, bank shot is good! Steph Curry coming alive for the second straight game in the fourth quarter. Steph scored 23 points in the final frame. Down the stretch, he and his fellow splash brother Clay Thompson dropped the final daggers to put an end to the CP and Harden Rockets era. Curry with Tucker right with him. Curry launches a three. Puts it in again! Steph Curry from downtown! Thompson for three. Bang! The Splash Brothers. Big buckets here in the fourth quarter. And that'll do it. The Golden State Warriors advance to their fifth consecutive Western Conference Final. For the second straight year, they eliminate the Rockets here in Houston. Steph finished with 33 points, 5 boards and 4 assists. He and his Warriors advanced to sweep the Portland Trail Blazers in the conference finals. Injuries limited Steph to just 5 games in the pandemic-stricken 2019-20 season, but he was back with a vengeance in 2020-21. Through his first 5 games that season, Curry was averaging 26.4 points, 4.6 boards, 6.6 assists, and 1.4 steals while shooting 42% overall. Then came a January 3rd date with Portland and Steph went wild. Steph, oh. step back three, yes yeah. sir! Oh, oh. Ricochet to Steph, he just catches and launches a three! Curry from Stop. deep, 59! <laughs> Why not? Draymond you finds him another that. three, oh. got it! 62! <laughs> 62! He finished with a career-high 62 points, topping the 54-point game at MSG in 2012 as he shot 18 for 31 overall, 8 for 16 on three-pointers while adding five boards and four assists. He scored those 62 points in 36 minutes and scored 30 points in both halves. In April 12, 2021, Steph gave the Golden State Warriors another reason to build a statue of him one day. Curry became the franchise's all-time leading scorer against the Denver Nuggets. So Curry driving, Curry flipping it up and in! Into the basket! And now into the record books! The most points ever in Warrior franchise history! Steph scored 53 points to pass Wilt Chamberlain for the most in Warriors franchise history as Golden State beat the Denver Nuggets 116-17. Golden State on a night when Steph Curry passed Wilt Chamberlain for the all-time Warriors scoring lead gets a win.
ties his fourth most ever in an NBA game. Steph Curry legitimately unreal tonight. Steph shot 14 of 24 from the field, making 10 of 18 three-pointers. The two-time league MVP added six boards and four assists in 35 minutes. It marked his seventh straight game scoring at least 30 points, the longest streak by a Warrior since Rick Barry during the 1966-67 season. Steph became the league's all-time leader in career three-pointers during the Golden State Warriors' 105-96 victory over the New York Knicks at Madison Square Garden on December 14, 2021, by hitting a pair of first-quarter triples to move past Ray Allen and seize the top spot. Steph, three, there it is! NBA three-point history! Stephen Curry stands alone as the most dominant distant shooter the game has ever seen. 2,974 threes and counting. As soon as the 2,974 three-pointer of his career dropped, the arena went absolutely wild and so is the excited Steph. Curry broke the three-point record over the course of 789 games, which is 511 fewer games than it took Allen to reach the milestone. The fact it took over 500 fewer games is just further evidence that Curry is undoubtedly the best shooter the game has ever seen. Steph went absolutely wild in the 2022 NBA All-Star Game back in his home state of Ohio. Starting for Team LeBron in his eighth All-Star Game appearance, Curry heard the Boo Birds from Cavaliers fans. He's the greatest three-point shooter in NBA history. He's a two-time league MVP, a three-time NBA champion, and an eight-time All-Star. From the Golden State Warriors, Stephen Curry! In typical chef fashion, the future Hall of Famer took it in. He accepted and thanked Cavs fans for the booze. Then, he moved on and dropped 50 points and 16 threes in a legendary all-star performance. Steph for MVP here in Cleveland, it don't get no better than that. Incredible. Steph broke the record for the most three-pointers in an all-star quarter with six, for a half with eight, and for a game with 16. Steph dazzled the crowd and the commentators with his extraordinary sharp shooting all night long. At the end, it was a no-brainer. Steph got to be the first one to accept the new Kobe Bryant All-Star Game MVP trophy. Steph delivered an all-timer when the Warriors needed it most. Trailing the Celtics 2-1 in the finals, Curry exploded for 43 points and 10 boards to lead Golden State to a 107-97 victory in Boston. He knocked down seven threes, the third most ever in a finals game. Curry again. Oh, Steph Curry from way downtown. Back to Curry, three-pointer. Bang! Steph Curry drills the three. The NBA Finals are tied at two games apiece as the brilliance of Steph Curry on full display here in Boston. Steph became just the fifth guard in NBA history to have at least 40 points and 10 boards in a finals game. Incredible, Draymond Green said. Incredible. Put us on his back, willed us to a win, much needed win. Um, game we had to have. Came out and showed why he's one of the best players to ever play this game. Just absolutely incredible. Clay Thompson ranked it as Curry's number one finals performance. I think probably number one. I mean, this was nearly a must win game. And to go out there and shoot as efficiently as he did. And the heart on that man is. Incredible. In addition to helping the Warriors regain home court advantage, it was the first of three straight victories for Golden State, marking a turning point in the finals. The finals MVP, the one honor that had eluded Steph in his career. He took it masterfully in the 2022 NBA Finals. The 2022 Bill Russell NBA Finals MVP award goes to Stephen Curry. As the Warriors beat the Boston Celtics 103-90 in Game 6 at TD Garden to wrap up the championship, Steph began to cry as he realized what he and his team had just accomplished. Of course, Steph Curry with his dad, the emotions just pouring out. It might be his fourth, but it means so much. All the sacrifice, all the work, and that'll do it. It's over. The Golden State Warriors return to a familiar place. They're on top of the NBA world. The fourth title in eight years. The Dubs dynasty is still very much alive. Curry was nothing short of brilliant in these finals, averaging 31.2 points, six boards and five assists on 48.2% shooting from the field and 43.7% from three-point range. In the championship clinching game six, Steph recorded 34 points on 12 for 21 from the field and six of 11 from three. Curry sidestep, three-pointer. It's good, Steph Curry from downtown. Curry along three. It's good, Steph Curry from way down. 
Mama, there goes that man, and then says, put a ring on it. For his efforts, Steph finally earned Finals MVP unanimously. Now, with the Bill Russell MVP award, one in the TD Garden no less, the Curry Trophy cabinet is complete. Tell us in the comments, what is your favorite Steph Curry moment? If you like this video, share, subscribe, and hit the like button. For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Vintage Dawkins and Squad Dawkins, and follow us on social media.